Greetings and welcome back. We're continuing with our uh, Reaper setup uh, series. We're starting to get there, but there are a few uh, more things that I want to uh, go through. One thing that's uh, definitely a life uh, saver. An important one is choosing how you want Reaper to start up. The default is a Reaper will start up with your last project that you worked on. And in my opinion, that's a bad idea. Because what will eventually happen for most of us at some time or another is you get a crash, either because of a corrupted uh, project file or a plugin that acts up and uh, just crashes the whole program. And when you try to start Reaper again, it crashes before you can do anything. So what we want to do is uh, set Reaper to start up with a blank project. I'll just show you quickly how you do that. Go into preferences and the general and right at the middle there you have startup settings open project on startup i've set it to new project i think i'm going to change that one to this one ignore default template i don't have a default uh, template set but uh, you can do that if uh, you always uh, start the same way but as I vary between recording and mixing and uh, editing and stuff like that, so um, I generally want to start with a blank one. And just to show you how it works, just close Reaper and open it back up. And there you have it. The next thing we're going to uh, be doing then is uh, setting up uh, autosave. Under project, before we set up the autosave, we're also going to uh, create backups when we do uh, save them manually. And this means we can go back to an earlier backup if our uh, project gets uh, screwed up along the way. I prefer this one, which is keep multiple versions. This means that all the, all of the various uh, backups we've saved along the way is uh, kept in one single file. And when you want to open that, just double click on the backup file and choose uh, which uh, backup file that you want to open. Underneath there, we've got the autosave. It's set to 15 minutes, which may be a bit too long. I think I'm going to change it to 10. And when stopped, you can also choose when not recording or any time. When stopped is a good option, I think. Generally, I wouldn't recommend to uh, have it doing uh, auto saving when you're recording something, as that can uh, screw up the recording. Then you have to choose where you want to uh, save it. Generally, I prefer saving it to timestamped file in project directory. You can also uh, choose a specific directory on your computer, but um, I generally like to keep them uh, together with the other files for that uh, project. Now let's look into some basic file management uh, stuff that's very useful. And the easiest way to um, collect everything in uh, Inside one folder is uh, use the same project as and take this one that says copy all media into project directory. And I usually also uh, take the create subdirectory for project. This uh, dialog will also come up the first time you save a specific project. If you're moving projects between uh, different computers or uh, you want to back uh, everything up uh, after a project is finished, it tends to be a nightmare if, you're, uh, if you don't have all the audio files in, uh, inside one folder. And going forward, to clean up the project directories, we can also uh, use some, um, some folders inside uh, the project. So we're going to project settings first and media. And here we have the path to save media files. And this path here is a relative one. Or it can be a relative one. Do it as simple as possible. Just call it uh, audio or audio files or something like that. And save as default project settings. 
This means that uh, whenever you start a new project and record audio, all of the audio files will then be stored within a folder called audio. This makes for a much more um, uncluttered um, file system. We can also do the same thing for uh, the peak files or uh, waveforms. So what you're generally uh, getting inside a project directory is you'll have the Reaper um, project file and backup files in the top level in that folder. Then you have an audio folder and inside that we can have the peaks uh, in a separate folder there. So we're going to tick this option, put new peak files in peaks subfolder relative to media. So we can create a new uh, project file just to demonstrate. Level 3 towards the end there. Create subdirectory. Copy all media. Save. And there we have it. Project file. Audio. Recorded media here. And peaks inside there. For now, I think I'm quite happy with the, the basic setup that I've got going. Plenty more uh, videos to come on uh, using the software. Hope you found this stuff in this video helpful. Do consider subscribing if you like the videos I do here. Ask uh, questions if you have them. And I'll see you next time.